Microsoft says its Surface Pro 3 can be the tablet that replaces your laptop. Here's how it stacks up. A lot of people have a laptop and a tablet. Why do you think that is that people have been unwilling to really kind of combine the two and go with a device like this in the past? Because tablets can't be productive. It That's wasn't right. big enough, and it was too heavy, and it wasn't thin enough. These subtle trade-offs, they mean something to people. With its 12-inch high-resolution screen, Microsoft has built a lot of little engineering tricks, things like weight distribution, adjusting the kickstand so that it can sit at any angle and be both comfortable and stable in your lap, and redesigning the screen and stylus so that you can write on the tablet as if you were using a pen and paper. When it comes to the keyboard type cover, Microsoft has certainly fixed problems that they had in previous versions, making it a much more viable option as a laptop replacement. Compared to the iPad, the rate at which the ink comes out of your digital stylus makes everything feel much more natural. On the flip side, because it is meant to be both tablet and laptop, the Microsoft Surface Pro 3 is noticeably heavier and a bit more difficult to carry around. Microsoft has also revamped the internals in this device using Core processors, which you'll see in any high-end laptop. The Surface Pro 3 runs a full version of Windows 8, which also means that you can use your Windows 7 apps in desktop mode, giving it basically the function of any computer that you would have on your desk at work. Microsoft is certainly gunning for the high-end laptop market, particularly Apple's MacBook Air. And believe it or not, it is lighter and thinner than the MacBook Air.